What's going on guys, Bobby here, and today we have a very highly requested video by you guys, and we finally are going to put it out. So today what we have is how to be a pro part two. Now this is obviously a very highly requested video as you guys are subscribed to me because you guys want to be high level players. I have the highest um, average trophy uh, viewer actually by like 5,000 over every other channel. So I'm super proud of you guys. You guys are already God tier players. You guys are good and you guys want to become better. That is the number one trait for being a pro player, just those skill and you know, just you wanting to actually be better at the game. You keep pushing yourself, always trying to learn new things. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna be great at this, but today we have how to be a pro part two. Now I would highly recommend watching how to be a pro part one. Link is gonna be in the description down below. It is a very, very important video that you watch before this one, as it talks about a lot of things that are necessary and you 100% need to have before entering phase two of trying to become a pro. Now let me start off by saying becoming a pro isn't easy, it takes a little bit of time, but following these steps you guys are going to be able to do it. I believe in all of you guys, but if you guys don't want to watch the first video, let's have a little recap of what it was. So basically the main thing we spoke about in video number one was to download Discord, Twitter, and Twitch. All three of those are very necessary. Every single pro, semi-pro, and aspiring pro has all three and are on all three all day. I can guarantee that I'm on Discord and Twitter far more often than I'm on uh, than I'm actually on Brawl Stars. And even Twitch, I always have Twitch running in the background. I'm always watching things. Um, and I would highly recommend you guys do the same. So let's talk about all three and what you guys can do with them before we get into the new stuff, part two on how to be a pro. So use Discord. This is very, very, very important as Discord. With it, you can join servers that host tournaments, which is obviously very, very, very important. Discord is the place where you're going to find all the tournaments. And you also have to befriend fellow pro players. Doing this is just going to help a lot. You guys are going to stay up to date on tournaments. I don't know about every tournament. I see it on Twitter. I see it on Discord. Someone messages me asking me if I'm competing in this tournament, something like that. So you guys will also get the same stuff as that. Just being on Discord, join as many servers as you guys can that have a ton of pro players. Um, it's going to be very important for you guys. Also, just being able to voice chat with the team once you actually have it or voice chat with players is very, very, very important. Um, trying, to make some friends, uh, trying to make some friends with good players via Discord, very important. Just trying to be friendly, trying to stay in the loop of everything. That is what Discord is very, very good for. So number two, what I suggest is using Twitter. Now, when I say I suggest this, I mean like, like do this. Don't, don't, this isn't a suggestion. This is me saying download Twitter. And follow people like pro players, myself, OG, uh, Twisty, Gijay. There's a ton of good pro players that you guys should be following. Following people like Frank, Ryan, and Danny. So you can stay up to date with the latest esports news. There's Brawl Stars esports channel, or I mean page on Twitter. Just all of that. And then YouTubers who are also in esports, such as Coach Corey, Ark, etc. You guys are going to be updated on all the news if you guys just follow these people. Stuff is going to be retweeted, commented, liked. You guys are going to see everything. So make sure you guys download Twitter just to stay up to date and trying to create a presence, trying to get well known. Comment under people's posts, stuff like that. Try and get some followers together because you guys have to start creating a presence for yourself. That's something that's very important. And then there's also Twitch, which is probably the most undervalued thing that you guys can have. Use Twitch and follow fellow pro players. People stream every day. Myself, OG, Connor, you have Rin streaming every day. You have a bunch of people streaming every single day who are very good at the game. It was 30k uh, personal best or 5k personal best or in every single tournament. So I would highly 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 recommend You downloading twitch. It's very important. Just watch people figure out what to do, etc, etc But with that being said we are done the recap We're gonna hop into how to be a pro part two So with that being said, let's run some gameplay and let's talk about the second part on how to be a pro Okay, so in this video, we're gonna talk about the next step to help you guys become a pro. So to help you guys, and this is going to be a major, major helper because I'm going to try and get everything in one place for you guys. I've created a Discord server. So this Discord server, the link is going to be in the description below. Everyone, make sure you join it if you guys want to be a pro. This server is going to contain fellow players trying to be a pro. So all of yourselves, it's going to just be a bunch of you, basically. Imagine you and then imagine a thousand more of you. There's going to be a bunch of people in there that are trying to accomplish the same goal as you are. There's going to be some, some pro players such as myself. The admin of the server, Alex, is a very good player. There's going to be other pros who I'm sure are going to join just because they want to be in the server. So definitely check that out. Some semi-pro players. I'm sure there's going to be a ton of those that are helping out with the server that want to scrim, practice, etc. 
there's going to be a bunch of players looking to scrim. We have a scrim channel in there. A bunch of players looking to form a team, which is obviously going to really help you guys. Because a lot of you guys say, listen, I want to play pro, but I'm not able to form a team. So this is obviously going to help you guys out a ton. There's going to be some coaches in there. Now, coach is a little bit interesting because we're coaches in Brawl Stars, but there are no free coaching lessons. They do charge money, but I'm sure they're going to give a little bit of a discount. So if anybody's interested, just hit me up or just ask an admin or a mod in the Discord, and I'm sure they can give you the appropriate answer. Um, there's going to be links to servers that you guys can join to talk to fellow pros or that fellow pros are in just hanging out talking all day and you guys can interact with them. There's going to be servers that you can join to play in tournaments such as the SSG server or the provocation server. And if this server does have enough interest in enough people, I'm going to be hosting my own tournament. I'll either put that on my main channel, I'll either stream it or put it on my mini channel. But anyways, there is going to be good stuff in this server so I would highly recommend joining it. This guy's this server is going to make it so much easier for you guys to do absolutely everything. So make sure you guys are joining it. Um, and let's hop on to the next step. Okay, so what you guys want to do after joining my server is just start talking to people, start interacting, and start playing with them. So you guys are going to play with some people. And I'm sure some people you guys play with, you guys notice you'll play with a random. You guys are going to go on a 15-game win streak. And then other randoms, you're just like, what are you guys doing? You guys just don't click as teammates. This happens. So what you guys are going to do, what I suggest you guys do, is just start playing with some people in the server. Um, try and make friends. Try and talk. Try and interact. Try and voice chat. I'll try and hop in a voice chat or two and just talk to you guys. And just see if you guys click. You know, you guys can be good friends. You guys can talk. You guys can think each other are cool. But you guys play the game and you guys simply just don't click. And that's entirely possible. It happens to a lot of people. It's happened to every single pro player. There are just some people you guys don't click with. And then there are some people who are like, wow, we have really good chemistry. Keep playing with those people. If you find some people like that, those are the people you guys want to form a team with. So first, see if you guys can get some good chemistry. And then if you guys goals align and you guys want to reach the same end goal, then that's how you guys form a team. Give it a day or two. Give it a day or two. Don't rush it. Don't play one or two games. Say, wow, we won these two. This guy's good. Let's make a team. Play with some different people. See you guys like. Add some people in here so you guys can play more 3v3. That's also something that's really cool. Also, make sure you guys are playing with people in the same region. You can't make a pro team of one person in Brazil, one guy in Canada, one guy in France. You're going to have three people in North America. So just so you guys know what is considered North America and Brawl Stars is Mexico, a few um, Latin countries, I believe. I don't know exactly which one, so I'm not going to say. Canada and America. South America is just mostly all the South American countries plus Brazil. And then EU is just all the European countries. I don't know how they border Asia. I'm pretty sure Korea has its own section. China might have its own section. And then the rest is kind of together. I'm not too sure, so don't quote me on that. But that is what you guys want to do. Is create a team that has three people that you guys have the same goal, good chemistry and are in the same region let's hop into the next game and talk about the next step so after building a team of three or a team of four if you guys want to have a substitute in case you guys aren't very busy one of you guys have work a lot of school you know stuff like that you guys can't make in or play all the time teams of four aren't bad i'm personally on a team of four um, things you guys want to do are start scrimming. We're gonna have a scrim channel in the uh, in the server So you guys obviously join it if you guys are new to discord Just try and learn try and ask some questions. You guys are gonna figure it out There's gonna be a scrim channel where you guys can get scrims There's gonna be a rule where you're gonna be pinged every time another team wants to uh, have a scrim join tournaments So we're either gonna have tournaments in the server or I'm gonna post some links to other servers that are gonna be hosting tournaments once once a month once every couple weeks so make sure you guys also check that out Play as much ladder as you guys can together. And I can't stress this enough. Playing ladder with your teammates is so, so, so important. The absolute most dominating period for any team in the game is when myself, Alec, and OG were on a team. We were like the first contracted team. And we played ladder all day long together. We were like number one, two, and four in trophies. Um, and in like wins and just in so many stats, we, we would just play all day together. We had ridiculous chemistry and this is why we we're able just to dominate. So make sure you guys get important, get chemistry. Cause this is one of the most undervalued important things in the game and make sure you guys are voice chatting. I'm going to make a bunch of voice chats in the server. Make sure you guys are voice chatting when you guys are playing with your team. Cause this is how you guys talk. You guys, you know, you can say pinch, you guys can say pass the ball. You guys are going to learn each other's tendencies. Please voice chat if you guys want to become good. The importance of building chemistry is very, very important. And it, it, it is 100% the most undervalued thing in professional esports. Not just in Brawl Stars, but just in esports as a whole. So make sure you guys are voice chatting. Make sure you guys are doing that and just playing as much as possible. I couldn't stress it enough after forming a team. This is super, super important. And that is going to be all for this video. So just make sure you guys are just joining the server. 
forming a team and doing exactly what I said. And then for part three, we're going to have another really good video, but I can't tell you guys what to do then because you guys are going to go ahead and kind of skip it. So I'm going to make uh, part three. I'll probably have it released in a week. But anyways, in the next video, we're probably going to talk a little bit about how to scrim plus a few other things, how to sign up for tournaments, which tournaments are good to sign up for, etc. But anyways, make sure you guys try and form your team of three. Again, join the Discord. The link is going to be um, in the description down below. Make sure you guys sub, like the video and drop a comment as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to be a pro. And, you know, I'm very proud of you guys trying to do this. And I'm happy to make these how to make a how to be a pro video uh, videos for you guys. I'm happy to make a server to help you guys out. You guys are loyal to me. So I will do it right back for you guys. So anyways, that's going to be it for today. I will catch you guys again tomorrow. I will see you guys then. Peace.